Hey guys, what is up? Summer Mix here, bringing you guys out Help From Our Remix Episode 2. And I got a great question, a funny question from Smopole, and a question about COD. I might get to the question about COD, I'm not sure, because I told you guys I want you to ask questions about yourself, not me. So, I'll see if I can get to that question. So, let's start off with this great question by Ted. And he said, Sup, I'm Ted. You probably remember me from your last video about my dad. P.S. Thanks for the advice. What he's talking about is my last episode. If you click that annotation in the top left corner, you can go check it out. And I answer his email question. So, back to the email. Recently, there's been these two girls messing around with me. He put in parentheses, flirting with me. One of them wants to go out with me, but she keeps asking me out. I say yes, but nothing happens on Facebook. Then there's this other girl who keeps inviting me over to her house, but I'm too nervous to go. The girl who keeps inviting me to her house, me and her have a massive relationship as friends. The girl who keeps asking me out said I have to prove it to her. I want to go out with both of them, but if I say yes to one and no to the other one, they could end the relationship as friends. Give me some advice from Ted. P.S. The two girls are best friends forever, but they haven't told each other that they both like me. Alright, if I get this straight, I guess I can help you out with this question. So you say both of them flirt with you, but one of them has a massive relationship with you. And this other one keeps asking you out, and you say yes, but she said that you have to prove it to her. I don't really get it. She's the one that should be proving it to you. So if the girl who keeps inviting you to her house actually likes you, you should probably go out with her. She seems like a nicer girl than that other one who is sort of, I don't know, she's asking you to prove it to her when she keeps asking you out. I'm not getting that. But if the other girl is actually your best friend and she doesn't like, like you, then I guess you should go out with the girl who keeps asking you out and stay best friends with the other girl who keeps inviting you to her house. That way they won't really end the relationship because you're still best friends with that other chick. But you're also going out with her friend. So you're spending time with both of them I guess. And if the girl who keeps inviting you to her house starts getting jealous or whatever. Then you can tell she likes you. And if you want you could switch girlfriends. Or you can be badass and go out with both of them. So hopefully that answered your question. I wasn't really sure what you're asking because there's some parts that I did get. But thank you Ted for asking that question. And uh, hopefully I can answer some more of your questions later on in my next episode if you have more. So let's go to the next episode from Smopal. He said, I have a really big dick and all the girls love it. But I'm actually gay and I love the cock. Please help me out in this situation. Do you have any guy or girls with big dicks? Well, Smopal, that big dick you have is a present from Ron Jeremy. And you should use it to your advantage and take over some girls. I don't know why you would like the guys. Also, I do not know any guys or girls, especially girls with big dicks. Um, I know a friend, that his na nickname is Small D. Uh, yeah, you know who I'm talking about. But, Smopal, thanks for the question. You should really take advantage of that dick onto those girls. On to the next email from Alex, and he asks, Do you have any easy tips on how to get a Moab easily? Tell us to set up class and stuff. It'll make your subs happy, and you'll get more. Alright, so, if I were you, I would run around the map, and, uh, not, you wouldn't want to go through the middle of the map, because you could possibly die from many ways, and going around the map, uh, decreases that chance of you dying and you have uh, a more view of the map and you could probably kill people from behind um you would probably want if you don't have any um gaming headsets lots of people say that and actually helps out a lot you do want gaming headsets you can hear footprints i mean footsteps and um it helps you out a lot so, um, my class setup, you probably want to use a suppressor all the time. Suppressor and specialist kill streak. And, um, you also want. I either use hardline, and then on my specialist kill streak, I put assassin as my first kill streak. Or you can do, um, put assassin on, 
and put whatever perks you want on your specialist kill streak. But you do want assassin, like right away. You can make it your first kill, you get assassin. But you really want assassin. And probably blind eye too, just in case there's some uh, aircrafts above. And um, hopefully I answer your question. I'll probably get more into getting Moabs and tips and stuff in another video. But thanks for asking the question. Hope you guys enjoyed my video. Um, if you want to follow me on Twitter or like my Facebook, you can check out the link in the description. And above is the email. If you have any questions, I'll probably answer it. Just send the email to that email above. And um, hopefully you guys like this episode. I'm out, guys. Peace. Mission failed. We'll get him next time. <laughs>